What's goody fellas? Welcome back to the channel. We've got a very interesting experiment today. So, crow stupid experiments. You know I like to do me really wacky stuff. This is probably one of the wackiest things we have done. We head on up to draft picks. You can see that I have a whole bunch of seventh round picks. Can a team of seventh round picks win a game? Simple as that. Last time we did first round, uh, I put the XP sliders up a little too much. Yeah, they were they were like 99, almost instantly. See, half of these guys won't be seventh rounders. They'll be like fifth rounders, like Jalen Jones there. The seventh round is an interesting one because most of them will be trash, but some of them will be gems. Give me something I can use, man. Still haven't found like a crazy second round or something. You know what we have to do, right? I think the next one after this will be, can a team of fifth rounders make it to the Super Bowl? As Kadron Woodley is a second round talent. Let's go. He'll probably get taken before the seventh though. <laughs> so you might think, what? why would you do the fifth round? That's a very specific number. But some of the guys in the fifth round are absolute machines, bro. The amount of first round talent I've pulled from the fifth this year is crazy. There is some serious talent here. Not gonna lie, especially receiver, some good middle linebackers, decent running back. I reckon this team would be able to win a game. I'm just saying. We don't even have the first pick in the seventh. Oh my goodness. How did I not manage to get the first pick in the seventh? All that great talent that I found that second round worthy is just all getting scooped up. Don't tell me me second round talent is gone. He's gone. Wow, they didn't leave anything left for me, bro. Oh, that's disgusting. The best player we have is this fifth rounder, Kyle McGriff. Let's go ahead and take him. 66. <laughs> Take Sydney Dickerson, six round talent. So the best players on our team are gonna be around the mid 60s, basically. I don't feel like the draft itself is gonna be that interesting considering it's all seventh rounders. I will catch you in week one of next year. If you wish to skip the official team breakdown, go to this point in the video. At quarterback, Dave Bowens, 59. Running backs, Terrell Bullard, 62, and Nasir McCray, 60. Fullback is also Nasir McCray. Wide receivers are Anthony Kramer, Jamal Smart, and Gilbert Baker. Tight end is Mark Steffens. Left tackle, Christopher Moses. Left guard, Percy Martin. Center, Adam Pritchett. Right guard, Jeff McKee. Right tackle, Stephen Medlin. Left end, Pat Jarrett. Right end, Zach Anderson. DT, Jonathan Willis, and Calvin Blackwell. Outside Outside linebacker, Sidney Dickerson. Middle linebacker, Eric Cruz. Right outside linebacker, Jaleel Barnes. Cornerbacks are Kyle McGriff, Jeff Clement, and TJ Saunders. Free safety is Tyrell Singleton. Evan Newbury is the strong safety. I could not get a kicker and a punter, but everything else has been changed. Things like third down running back, power running back, slot wide receiver, long snapper. Everything is a seventh round product. All right, so we are a 67 overall team. Can we win a game? That's what we're about to find out. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? No star developments. Predictions down in the comment section. You only get to watch this video once. Let me know what you reckon these guys will go. I'm reckon, I reckon we'll go one of 15, possibly. Let's go ahead and simulate to the mid season and see what the update is. Oh, that's not a good indication. Okay. We are zero and seven. We are zero, we haven't won a game yet. <laughs> However, we got some upgrade points. Hopefully that's gonna help out the squad a little bit, get them up to like, you know, below 70. I'm just letting everybody go. Cause I think we will do two years of this. That means we gotta let two go. It looked like we had a pretty easy schedule to finish out. Come on, you, you can do it boys. We believe in ya. The power of the seventh round. Oh, we put up some points. Ah, let's go. We're up to a 70 overall, 72 defense now. We won a game. I told you guys we would win a game. It's all on the back of Jaleel Barnes. That is the coolest name ever, mate. All right, so we were getting smacked the first half of the season. We nearly beat the Bills 20 to 24. Who did we beat though? It was literally week 16. We beat the Steelers 31 28. Take that, Yin. Damn, Dave Bowens, three touchdowns, zero picks. Very nice. Had a crappy completion percentage. Rushing in, Bullard with 46. McRae with six as well. Receiving, Gilbert Baker had 121 yards and three touchdowns. So who got the picks then? 
the free safety, the cornerback, and the linebacker. Interesting. I'm so proud of the squad. I knew we could get a dub. So yearly awards. Ryan Tannehill wins the MVP a lot in this game, I noticed. Offensive player. I don't think we're going to be on here at all. But rookie, though, Dave Bowens. Check it out. We had pretty much the top 10. Defensive rookie going to go to Kyle McGriff. Again, nice little improvements. All right, down to business. Dave Bowens, 3,400 yards, 15 touchdowns, 11 picks. Just horrible. Rushing in, Terrell Bullard putting up 514. Let's see, put up 161 as the backup. Gilbert Baker was goaded, bro. 866 yards. He also had that massive game. You will see real players get stats, but there's nothing I can do about that at all. All right, the offensive line actually did pretty good, man. Christopher Moses let in a lot of sacks, but for the most part, not as bad as I was expecting. And then defense, Jeff Clement, 126 tackles, 7 TFLs. Look at Kyle McGriff. He won Defensive Rookie of the Year. I'm not surprised. 94 tackles. Five picks, bro. So Ogba did play a little bit. He got 23 tackles. Tyrell Singleton led the rookies with one sack. So just because I love years, I'll go the extra mile today, okay? We're going to do two seasons in the one experiment. The team is a little bit better than they were last year. Because we did win a game last year, I want to give the boys a little bit more of a chance to uh, succeed. Singleton, Jalil Barnes, and Cruz all go up to a star development. Wow. Bro, seventh rounders are the bomb. I'm having so much fun right now. Okay, official team overall is 69. Nice, with a 67 offense, 72 defense. Let's go to the midway part. Check it out. See how we do. I'm calling two wins, boys. Nice. We already got a dub. I have no idea who it was to, but uh, we'll get a check in the playoffs. All we need to do is win one more game, boys, and we've doubled. We've officially done it. We did. We won two games. Let's go, man. I never thought I'd be so happy to get two dubs. So we beat the Lions 35 to 21, and we also beat the Bears 21 to 14. The Steelers did get revenge on us but if you check it out there was a lot of games that we barely lost lost by three to the jets four to the bills two to the jets again we played amazing this season we were genuinely competitive just pretty crap you know dave bowens had a really bad year oh, this is even worse than last year just under 3,000 yards 14 touchdowns and nine picks tyrell bullard 491 mccray the backup 273 gilbert baker only getting better 903 yards anthony kramer was 623 oh yeah christopher moses let in a lot more sacks this season as well so how did we play better our stats were worse how did we win more games i guess the team just overall is a little bit better single in the hundreds for tackles clement again over 100 pat bullard had three sacks i like it sydney dickerson with two so a seventh rounder led the team overall in sacks this year this was a very underrated experiment i did not think i'd have this much fun but i did so with that being said fellas if you made it this far into the video you are the real mvp hope the rest of your day is awesome and from me personally i'm out peace I'm a lady, run into the bag like I'm so athletic. I've been up since six, making hits like tennis. I've been on fire, I just need my credit. Wanna go far, need to change my settings. Reaching for the stars on so my feet, touch heaven. I've been head first, bitch.